I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, 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 ever. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The merit scientist forever. The merit scientist forever. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to episode 47 of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist, and our good friend, Greg. Just Greg. What's going on? <laughs> what? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I know Greg secretly wants to hit me with his vehicle. It's all right. His vehicle? Good God. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that is being a little extra. Sorry. But, uh, what were we uh, talking about before we, before we started? Uh, yeah, so we were talking about how this Friday, uh, what is it, May, I don't even know what today is, 27th? 27th. 29th? So 29th. 29th yeah. um, that in Virginia, it's going to be required that if you go into a public place that you do have to wear a face covering, you know, a mask um, and whatnot. And... I'm curious to see how this is going to kind of play out because um, most 98% of my customers already come in wearing a mask. I might get the random person that isn't. It personally doesn't bother me, um, you know, because I'm wearing a mask. I have the guard in, in, in my lobby and stuff. Um, so I'm just kind of curious if, if we're going to get some of those people that – I don't know, the think we're taking away their God given right as an American, you know what I mean? Like, you know <laughs> Or as a human being. Yeah. So like I mean personally, yeah, again, if you don't want to wear one, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm wearing it uh, I'll be for work. I mean, that's the only place I am in. So it doesn't really bother me if somebody isn't wearing it. But I feel like if this was gonna be done, it should have probably been done like a while ago, not you yeah, know, not, two two, not two months into it. I don't know, maybe he's more like looking out for protection. Like, all right, since we're opening back up, like, look, y'all got to start wearing masks. Um, just so we can, we want to, we, we want to keep, continue to min- minimize this thing. That's what I'm thinking. His thinking is from this whole thing. Um, I, I, I've been wearing, yeah, yeah. Um, I've been wearing it more. Like, I went to the dealership today and I was wearing one. But not everybody was wearing them. Did it? Did, did the fact that people weren't wearing them bother you at all? Um, in the sense for your yes, safety. Yes and no. Um, I'm like, if I'm wearing one, like this is your place of work. You're here every day, and you're not wearing a mask. I'm not here every day. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I guess that's why I have to wear one at that point. You know what I'm saying? Just to. Um, it's not really even protecting me. It's protecting other people because if I'm asymptomatic and it's more just me preventing other people from getting sick, not from me getting sick because the masks don't, don't really stop that much unless you have like the legit shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was going to say, um, oh, excuse me. Um, I actually had a customer come in and she's a regular customer of mine. I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, I guess she moved out of the area and she came in the other day to pick something up. And she said, actually, the store by her new house or apartment or wherever, uh, the employees at that one don't wear masks. Mm. And she felt more comfortable coming into my store. Uh, well, just, one, because she's a regular customer. And two, she knows that we're taking, you know, extra precautions as well. But I kind of see what you're saying when it comes to like, hey, we're slowly reopening. Let's take this extra step to, you know, be safe. Yeah, just to make uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, but I, I just feel like there's a lot of people, and again, it's fine if, personally with me, but that are like if they try to go into a grocery store, because I'm sure we've already seen videos on Facebook and various other social media outlets, um, you know, people freaking out like, oh, I don't have to wear a mask, you know, that kind of thing. Well, it goes I mean, the other I, way too, like people who aren't wearing masks or, or who are wearing masks and then like are telling, like, don't 
persecute somebody else because they don't want to wear a mask. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, that, yeah, and you're right. You're right. Like, again, like I'm wearing one because I'm at work and it's for my protection and my staff and my customers. Dude, as long as you don't come in my store, like hacking up along and digging, touching your face. I had a guy literally come in, start touching his face and shit. Mm. This was like a week and a half ago. And the moment he left, dude, like he touched like the door handle and like the credit card machine. Oh, yeah. I like blasted that shit with disinfectant, bro. You got like, everything. Pss, 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 pss. You know, that, that's kind of that's uh that's kind of what I was doing. Forgive my childish scream right there. Um, that's what happens. So what you uh, up I also, to oh what what? Oh. No, I was gonna say I need a haircut. My hair is. Oh, we all need haircuts. So for oh, mine's Greg. What you up to, Greg? These days, Nothing, it's gone. It's work. It's focusing uh, on work, and that's it. Got to lock in. Lock in. Yeah. Been locked in for two months. <laughs> nah, but I mean, shit's like, I got jobs ending. Oh. So I got to make sure, you know, everything is. Oh, yeah. They're getting everything they need and you get deadlines and shit. So. I know how that shit is. I'm dealing with that right now. We got fucking websites launching and like toward the end, like in the middle when everything's popping, like everybody could take care of their own shit. But at the beginning and at the end, you got to do all the, all the, the work. It's, like, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, it's all good. It's, a, it's about to be an interesting summer. Oh, man, if there is a summer, fuck, dude. Well, it's, it's going to be a summer. It's yeah, just, you can't stop that. It's not going to be, a, I guess. A fun Can summer. Like yeah, it's not, going uh, to be a, it's not going to be a fun summer at all for me. Man, this is whack, bro. Like, I'm working. Um, I mean, this will be a productive summer. It's just not going to be like... Last summer was fun. Last summer was definitely. Yeah, oh, that yeah. summer was up, dude. The summer is, is business. I'm ready for some. I'm ready for some wineries. That's what I'm ready for. I am ready for just nice weather. I guess. No more. No more free randy. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get no more free randy. Oh, you never saw uh, funny people. Not nah, probably a long time. Disease. I'm sorry. Oh, randy. No. Randy was his character. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> it was one of his. I, I would play it, but I don't know if I can play it on here. But yeah, uh, he was isn't like a it Randy. No, it was a fictional comedian named Randy, and he was an obnoxious comedian. So, mm. oh, like Aziz. <laughs> well, a turned up version of Aziz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't like an asshole. Yeah. He just his set was just really, really turned up. Mm. And he was just like. They're like, yeah, man, I heard you got a spot on the Tonight Show. He's like, yeah, man, no more free, Randy. They're going to have to start paying for this. Oh, yeah, that sounds like an Aziz joke. So, yeah. But, and anyway. Yeah, yeah that's... That's all, I'm, that's all I'm doing this summer. Being Locking productive. In. Yeah. Staying low bad. in building. Staying low in building. Yeah, trying, you know, trying I guess... Come out of this all strong. We, can we announce it or is it anything? Because I'm... I'm gonna be taking a break after episode fifty. I don't know if I told you, RJ, but it's yeah. not like a permanent thing. But I'm gonna be working long hours. So that's every, fine. Every, that, was, that was the worst announcement I've ever heard. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's whatever. I'm, a, I'm not a I'm not a celebration type of guy or a big announcement type of dude. I'm just, just Merry Christmas. Here's Me. the gift. Yeah, we still have a few weeks. Here's so. the money. For, here's the and money what, for the and, gift. And honestly, what we could do while you're gone, Greg. Uh, you know, we could probably just have a guest, you know, here and yeah. there. Special you know, guest hosts. In. Yeah. Um, but I'll be, I will be back. So I think we, we, me and RJ, I think we kind of agreed we we're going to take like a week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just to, like, I mean, kind of, uh, kind of, I'm going to, so, mm-hmm. uh, again, talk to my mom about seeing you guys can come over in a few weeks for, uh, you know, that 50th episode because it wouldn't be right if it wasn't done. And, and do that shit outside. <laughs> do a fucking uh, do a squad I, cast I'd be down outside. I'd do it anywhere, but you know, there's equipment, you know, and all the other. You know, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of work. I mean, just stream. I mean, just you know, record it and post it later. Who knows? We got time. We got like three weeks. What's this episode yeah. forty-eight? Seven. Is that 47? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. Yeah, we got. We're right. doing a good job. Hey, you know what's crazy is me and Jared started on the seventh episode. When we restarted the podcast, so this would be the fortieth episode in a row, except for the one week that we took off. So kudos to us! I we had oh yeah. For, yeah, huh? Oh yeah, we, we took the one off, off because Christmas. of the huh? 
We took a week off for Christmas too. Oh, no, no, no. Remember oh, we, we did it no, early. We Christmas show. Yeah. Or we, yeah, I think we did it yeah. early. Yeah, two, yeah, we did two shows in, uh, within like a few days. That's because we are productive here. Um, yeah, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. My life is still very boring and mundane. And I, so uh, I've been thinking about buying this controller, but I don't know if I want to drop any money on it. Was it or, the pro- uh, I, well, dude, I want to get a new Elite controller because my mine is uh, – Yeah, mine is Taggart. Uh, yeah, mine's kind of slowly falling apart, and you know, I obviously, the, I finally ripped the last bit of plastic, like rubber, off of mine. Like, oh, what the back pieces? Yeah, this right here. Uh, yeah, this piece right here. Yeah, yeah, Hell mine. Yeah. Uh, mine's yeah, mine's coming off. Because um, you got to think about the heat of your hands. You're heating no, it no, up, well, and it's melting, and this is just fucking. And the grease from your hands too. Yeah, everything. The grease. Yeah. So no, no, I agree, but. Um, so I do want to get a new one, but I don't. in better shape than mine. No, mine's still in good shape, but the bumper, yeah. like right here, oh, I'm so not used to where the camera is. It's like coming out and whatnot. Oh, wow. it, yeah, it's just kind of a pain. It's not that I abuse it. Jared was telling me a smash thing. It's a very good controller. Uh, they're just pricey, man. And so, like, they have you know, the newer model that's like thirty dollars more. But like, I'm not like. How I don't much know is how that? This one is a buck fifty. Okay. Oh, so that's almost two hundred dollars for uh, the one you're looking at. Yeah. yeah. God damn. Well, mm-hmm. you can do so many. There's like interchangeable joysticks and D pads, and you can adjust the sensitivity through your controller. And it's got these little. Uh, I'm not trying to market this, by the way. It's got these <laughs> little paddles on the back. That way, instead of like using the regular, oh, I'm trying, like, I'll hide that. Uh, using the regular uh, shit. The regular button you can use the paddles instead that way you don't have to remove your thumbs from the joysticks if you're like jumping and shooting and it's got a lot of nifty shit to it so that's yeah, uh, I, yeah go ahead oh, let me see. Okay, yeah shit. they're nice controllers man they're just a little well they are expensive i wouldn't say a little Post um, disabled screen sharing huh we do you disabled screen sharing did i yeah I don't leave it. That, that might have been don't want um, to shit on the show. That might have been uh hold on. It says one at a time. I am not sharing anything. I'm not sharing anything. Uh, Three participants. All right, hold Is on. there hold somebody on. else in here? We got a ghost. One can share at a time. Who can share? Oh, it says only host. That must be a new um automatic setting in Zoom. You should be able to do it now, Larry. It should be automatic. I'll raise Man. my hand. I had to raise my hand. Uh, don't don't uh, look at anything else. Yeah, so... It, oh, this is the Series 2 one. This is the one that's uh, $30 more than the original. But, like, the trigger stops on it. It's got, like, three settings now instead of, like, one or two. Well, that D-pad looks way more comfortable. Right here? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's like an... That's yeah, one. A, that comes yeah, off. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, they're interchangeable. Like I have the old school D pad on there. Yeah, me too. Uh, that that's uh that one that's in the, the I guess the, the photo, that's uh-huh. good for like fighting games and things that really utilize the D pad. Yeah, like UFC and some like, shit. Yeah. Uh oh, it's one eighty. Yeah, that's one eighty. That's that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I wanna drop that money. I mean Well, if you drop it, you just gotta know you're gonna use that motherfucker all the time. Yeah. Well that's I mean it's the only controller that I use, but the thing is, is just like, I like these controllers and I like the, I've been using them for years now since that, the first one launched. It's that initial oomph. This is my, this is my $180. Right <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, and I was telling Jared, my, uh, my sister was is trying to get into photography and stuff like that. And she wants to get a quality camera. And one of the cameras she was looking at is like $800. And I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? That's why I and still she, my DSLR. Yeah, but still, I just, again, like, to me, like, you know, things are, obviously, you have to be priced a certain way, but, but god damn. Like, Dude, I'm looking at trying to get a Mac right now, and what I'm looking at is not, uh, if I tell you what it is on here, you're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's get one from last year. I'm just going to get a new one. These bumpers I, are my favorite I, thing right here, bro. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying, like, that's another. The texture, that's tight. Yeah, so that's for more grip. I mean, I don't, I haven't really held one yet. But this is this is my shit right here. 
this fucking uh, what the trigger stop. Yeah, man. That yeah, shit, it helps that a lot, shit dude. helps a lot. You do have to take it off for like fighting games where you got to press that for uh, like strafing and stuff, like leaning back and shit. Mm. Yeah, in certain sure you cut games, if you if have to shooting, stop on the the button itself, won't do the command it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. I learned that the hard way. Just faster, I was trying to... faster trigger pull or something. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's, yeah uh-huh. it's like shorter. So oh, like, like a real gun. Yeah. So yeah. Instead, of, instead of pulling all the way back, it's just bop, 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 bop. You just pull it right here. Yeah, yeah. You can just tap it a, a several times, and like you'll see a noticeable increase in your. I mean, depending on what you're using it for, but the right trigger is normally an action button for shooting in most games. Mm-hmm. And no, no. <laughs> yeah, run, so uh, sort of run faster or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or whatever it may be, and um, so yeah. So I'm. I, I would like to get one, and it's not that I don't have the money to get one. It's just said it's 180 dollars, man. It's just treat yourself. Yeah, that's. that's I get, yeah, I guess. I mean, I have. Again, I'm like I would think like most people. Well, I wouldn't say most people. Just I'm sure I'd you save some sell save your some money. I'm sure you could sell your old one, and um... I don't want to sell it. I mean, I, I oh, mean, I still have definitely get something for it. But man, you it's, better it's buy good, that shit. Well, good the, what I would like to do is something I'd like to learn is how to actually take them apart. And uh, so, and just in case, like you get Google. Uh, so one of my buttons, because this controller I have is wow. rather old. Uh, one of my buttons is a little sticky. Uh, no homo. Mm. Um, I would like to take the plate. Yeah, I'll, I'll, first of all, sir. I don't know why that would be homo, but it's still weird. I don't know. The word sticky just <laughs> no just, incello. Yeah, just I don't know. It creates it's horrible incel- mental images in my head. It's a little um, incelish. No, but I'd like to take it out and wipe the button down with like an alcohol pad to get all the whatever it's on there. Well, the my, stickiness. My, fucking, my left. My left. Uh, Button fucking floats, like it floats down into the right. Float on. Your left button, like your your bumper. Not the bumper, yeah, the thumb uh, joystick. Oh, yours is loose, is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, that shit is the worst. I would buy like a new one immediately. I hate that shit more than anything. Yeah, I mean, if I'm holding the controller, my thumb holds it in place anyway. But it definitely floats. The shit. Nah. Sucks. So yeah, that shit would bother me i'm normally not like overly bothered by things like that but that that would bother me i don't know why it just does well let me move this out of the way and whatnot so we will figure out i'm more than likely going to get it i'm just going to be like oh. i almost did it earlier today and i was like oh, let me wait uh, yeah let's wait a week or two yeah uh save a little more bread let's get this bread Shit, uh, the stimulus man you know the stimmy just give me another stimmy i don't mean they were talking about it like one I, I would like it. one. I don't need one, but I would like one. No. Nah. Uh, well, I mean, with everything, well, I wouldn't say everything, but things are Fucking. beginning to slowly uh, open. Um, and we'll know in the next couple of weeks, man. I mean, uh, I know Friday they're going to allow some people to dine in at restaurants in Virginia only 10 but at you a gotta time. Wear a, but you got to wear a mask. Yeah, you got you to wear a mask. And, that's weird. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that's actually going to work. That's, I'm glad I brought gonna, that up. I'm going to eat through my mask. I'm not coming back out the house until after my birthday. Fuck this shit. Greg, when is your birthday? August. No, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So we have some time. Fuck it. Uh, Yo, did y'all I, see me the other night? That's the last time y'all going to see me for this summer. What about episode 50? I'll be gone to November. I mean, in person, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, me too. In like person. in a squad setting, mm. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, mm. sorry, I uh, couldn't like the pull make up. it. Like, hey, Greg, pull up. Like, but that doesn't happen anyway, but. No, I mean, I, I had to, unfortunately, uh, cover my buddy's shift on Monday due to his grandfather's what? passing. COVID? No, uh, old age. Uh, he's in uh, Pakistan. He's just, an, uh, you know, an older guy. Um, mm. But uh, my... Uh, my assistant, he's a real good guy, man. He, he drives me fucking crazy sometimes, but he's uh, he's a good, hard-working kid. And, uh, he, he, he went out there? No, no, but they had a, like a gathering on Monday uh, with his family. I think like a video chat or some, you know, something for prayer. It's something along those lines. Um, and that's something he obviously needed to be a part of. And then my other guy was doing his other job. So, you know, I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. So you gotta kind of bite the bullet for your so oh, for your so guy. His, so his uncle died in Pakistan. No, his grandfather. Oh, his grandfather. Okay. Yeah, okay. his grandfather. Yeah. Okay, that's different. So, hmm. uh, now nah, if it was his uncle, I wouldn't assume like. Nah, you still gotta let him go though. Yeah, 
No, 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 no. Of course, man. That's a very serious thing. But did you guys have fun standing out in the parking lot doing shenanigans not, and stuff? Not really. I not mean, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, okay. No, nah, it was. Uh, it was a lot of these motherfuckers was mad, aggro, and aggressive and shit. I'm like, uh, well, um, you uh, you weren't there when everything. I I, just, I understand the reasoning, but I was like, uh, and and not I'm everybody like, oh. aggro like. I know. Damn, I feel like I missed something. Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, motherfuckers ready to whoop ass out there. If if, if, come out here and see me, like, uh, if um, if everybody else has been, this was this was happening. Yeah, Yeah, man, we're not gonna go into it. Yeah, we're not going to. Let's make these jokes of Jared. But if if if, putting his war paint on, you can't all of a sudden you can't all of a sudden say no to something that's been happening the entire day. Yeah, you just know motherfuckers are, uh, yeah, don't fucking worry about it. Yeah, I'm just this saying. this tree is really fucking tasty, man. What tree? Like I have a the- I have a uh, a strain that I have acquired that tastes phenomenal. What does it taste like, Greg? Please inform us. I can't I can't it. You can't place it. So, does it have a fruity taste? You just cut out. It doesn't taste no. like pretzels, does it? No. I used to. You it's know almost crazy? minty. Oh, minty. Minty. Okay, well, hmm. I will. Hmm. It's in the gelato family. Oh, the gelato family. I remember when we were in high school and we would get like the like you know I used to smoke uh, Dutch's. Or yeah, anyway, before I self incriminate myself, anyway. Um, <laughs> That's too late oh yeah you've been done that <laughs> yeah but this was like this was a long time ago this was like 13 14 years ago this was that was weeks ago, ago motherfucker mm, I had yeah, a cop no. called me about some fingerprints they found back in 2001 one time I'm like nigga what <laughs> what year was this when he called you like 2014 2015 excuse me sir 2015. Your limitations uh this, this motherfucker comes to the house peep this shit so this is when i got my, <laughs> my fucking possession charge Bullshit, it wasn't nothing. I didn't have anything on me. They just fucking jammed me up at the wrong time. They caught me. Mm-hmm. Anyway, what was I talking about? Uh, Being jammed up by the popo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I get my court date. You know, it was, I, I just had paraphernalia on me. They fucking gave me the citation, let me drive home. Uh, so I go to court. But I don't tell nobody that I got to go to court for this shit because it's nothing. I just got to go pay my fine and get the fuck on with my life. These motherfuckers, like lawyers and shit, start sending fucking solicitations to my house because my docket is coming up. Like, I'm not looking for any of that shit. So my name pops up in the system. They're like, oh, hey, here's some here's fucking paperwork if you need representation. So now, like, my fucking mail is coming to the front door. And it's not even like envelopes. It's just like fucking postcards. If you have been caught with marijuana in Virginia, I'm like, oh my God, bro. <laughs> not, not even really just about broadcast it. this shit to my whole fucking family. Like Hello, I, family. I, I'm a I stayed, yes. I got caught. That's like, that's like when you search something on Google and then a bunch of ads come up. Right, man. <laughs> anyway, so I go to, go to court, plead no contest. Pay my fine, my little fucking four hundred damn dollars, man, for nothing. Yeah, the fees be mother for nothing, bro. man. Like everybody in that courtroom had like minor possession charges. Mm. Did like, you smoke this out of someone's butt? And you know, like literally, crazy. one of the fucking lawyers was in the back and was like, "This is so unnecessary." <laughs> like they they were literally like just sitting there, like looking at everybody, like it's such a waste of time. Like, it's a waste of time. Well, that's why you, it's being decriminalized on was, July first. I don't know if it's being decriminalized. It's well, or whatever they're whatever they're doing with it. Yeah, it's, it's only a, a twenty five dollar fine. It's a citation, like yeah. spitting on the sidewalk. That's um, uh, yeah, but spitting well, on the sidewalk, you don't get no ticket at all. But you, but you can by law. True, true. You know what I'm saying? By law, it's like you can't spit on the sidewalk. You're gonna give you a fucking like. You're also not allowed to like uh, jaywalking. Be, like they, they can. They they if they want to be dicks they can get you on jaywalking sometimes yeah. you know what I'm saying but yeah. usually the time they don't but anyway so after speak- all, after, but yeah let me finish up the story real quick after all that shit 
fucking detective. I'm at work and a fucking detective comes to the house, scaring my mother and shit. I'm like, yeah, we need to. See, you want to talk to your son? I just want to see him face to face. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah. What? No. The fuck is, why are you here? <laughs> why are you coming to my house? Dude, you got a fucking. A Did they bowl? attempt to call you? You motherfuckers got a bowl and a fucking old ass, uh, cheap ass grinder, like with dust in it. Like, why are you coming to my house? I said, oh, we just wanted to. And so, I like, I just ignored it the first time. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I don't know why he's coming. Motherfucker comes again. I'm like, what the fuck? You keep bothering my folks because my father, my dad was here. My mom was here. You know what I'm saying? Uh You were taking care of him and shit. Like, this is you putting unnecessary stress on my people's. Like, what the fuck? Like, why? I call them up. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh. Say, so, oh, I just wanted to meet you, you know, super, try, trying to see if they, I don't know. You don't fishing. need to meet me. You don't need to meet yeah, me, sir. That's what I told myself. What, uh, what, what do you, you don't have nothing, I don't have nothing to say to you, man. Like, what, what the fuck are you I've been like, first contacting of all, me for? Don't you have anything better to do? Yeah, he's, <laughs> so I told him, like, no, nah, I'm not coming. In. Like, why? Like, for what? No. Mm. Like, okay, well, you know, we, we ha- I had something on my desk. You know, when we ran you through your your name, your your prints popped up. It was something. Uh, it was at a uh, uh, Edison High School in two thousand and one. Oh like God. you talking about some fingerprints at Thomas Edison in two thousand and one. So Dude, I that's to, when I would have taken my pants I, off and just I went to school. On the front then, he, then he just dropped like an arbitrary name of like a classmate of mine. Yeah, he was fishing. <laughs> he was fishing back then, and I'm like. <laughs> Contact dude, whoever I, he knew. Like, dude, I don't. I, I know the people people I went to high school with for real, but I don't know them like that. Mm. I know who I know who they are. I'll be cordial when I see them in the streets. But aside from like maybe like two or three people that I went to college with afterwards, I I don't really I don't really talk to nobody from high school, let alone somebody's name you just dropped. Who I I really don't recall talking to since like eighth grade. Yeah. What the fuck are you looking? What are you fishing for, man? Get the fuck off my phone, man. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, and and haven't heard from him since. But I'm just like, dude, why? What did you? What were you trying to do? What you thought you? What you thought I was fucking retarded or some shit? Probably think you're some sort of the, board. A hoarder with with a fucking little ass grinder and some fucking yeah, and, and you, a you know how, fucking bowl. That's somebody trying to make their name in in the narcotics unit. Man, fuck him. I don't I, even remember his I name, agree. dude. I agree. But that shit was so fucking weird. It was like they don't they, they don't and I was at work. I was mad as shit. I'm like, yo, what like I was yeah, I was mad as shit. Not too many of them have uh, very much uh what's the word? I guess credibility credibility in my eyes these days. The the worst shit about it was like my mom's fucking looking at me all crazy. What's he coming in here for? What's this about? I'm like yeah, making you look like you're selling cocaine and bricks to the children. Damn, yeah, like, uh, which is not cool, by the way. Please do not sell drugs to children. Okay, I'm just like, no, <laughs> nah, I'm just. Like, what the fuck are you? What for? What for? Who for? What? As soon as he said the dude's name, I laughed. I was like, oh, man, I don't know what the fuck you're looking for, bro. Like, what do you think? All black people hang out together? Like, yeah, that's a hundred percent what they think. I literally. Moved to Virginia, went to middle school, then went to high school, and then went to college. Like in a four year span, like or went to junior high school. Like I don't know nobody, bro. Like fuck you, talking about? I ain't got no no middle school. No, no I know I still know a couple of people from high school and college. Like uh, fucking uh, Aaron Turbo. Oh yeah, I've known Turbo since. Okay, so that's <laughs> I, I'm just saying thinking of people. Like I've known Turbo since I fucking moved here. Damn near, he's like a year. He's like a year ahead of me. Mm. So he was at Edison when I moved here, and I met them at fucking uh, basketball camp. And then I knew them all through fucking high school and college. But uh, yeah, man. Excuse Other than me. that, but he ain't say that motherfucker's name. He said the motherfucker's name who I just had like home room with in eighth grade. Oh, you're, you're, Somebody you're, you haven't you're seen. Trying, bored. You're trying to yeah, you're trying to connect dots. You know what's crazy? Uh, so I guess there's that stigma i wouldn't say stigma but you know like when you see people from high school that you don't really know that well like how like me do you, like avoid do you avoid <laughs> like saying anything to them or do you like yes do you say hello i mean me. I, I don't know i have a 
I've had a few people that went to high school with me. And one person who was in elementary school with me, as crazy as that sounds, uh, uh, coming to my store before. And I, they were, I was talking to them and everything. And I was just thinking, like, damn, like, you know, this is fucking weird. Like, I don't know. It, uh, they were cool and shit, but, like, I didn't really know how to be like, hey, what's up? You know, it's just like, oh, it's I, – I know who you are, but, like – I see people in the store. Well, like, well, I uh, lately I've seen a couple of people in the store, but I've had a mask on, so they wouldn't. They might not even recognize me altogether. But I'll sure. see people and I I recognize them, and I just be like, mm, we was cool back then. But what do you think causes people to do that? Is it like this social insecurity, or like no. I don't know, like no, you're not I don't the know, same it's like, people. Not just, yeah, 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 it's true. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, that was a lifetime true. ago. Like we're, we're like that you was, could acknowledge the person for sure. You could, but then because like, I, I get that shit. <laughs> Jared's like fuck that. Then I might have to go into a conversation that I don't I get even that know. shit in a weird way sometimes. Like not maybe not so much lately. More so like when Lucky's was popping. Yeah, like people that went to high school with me would pop up. Oh, oh my shit. god, I missed that place. Oh, I'm like, hey, what's up? I really don't remember him. Like for real, for real, like yeah, hey. Yeah. How the hey. fuck you know my whole name? You Jesus Christ. Me? They're From like so so. Gregory and, you know, like, you know, I the whole. Like, me, me no, the dude. Teeth like, I've, I've met like 300 more people since I've seen you. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see them. It's, yeah. always, it's always good to see them. I remember them, your face, but I definitely don't remember your name. And I'm not trying to be an asshole about RJ, it. RJ, is that you? And I'm like, ah. Uh, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Hair and all. It's. You got yeah, my me. it's very uh, very distinguishable with my fucking visor on all the time. Uh, but that's okay. It's what I do. <laughs> um, uh, it, it is. It's just I was just like this. Like I, I've like created like this thing, and it and it follows me everywhere. And like, it's I kind of hate myself. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's everywhere, bro. Like it's little. I yeah. Somebody called me the other day for uh, you know so for an order uh, for their child's birthday. It's very nice to talk to them. And it's just like, yeah, I thought about you. Uh, and then during this whole COVID process or whatever, you know, lockdown thing, I've had several people hit me up. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to get back to everybody. Uh, just say, hey, man, are you know any coupons or are you working? I'll come by and, you know, get a pizza from you, this and that. So uh, it's real cool. But then it's like, damn, like people really think of me when they think of pizza it's just yes kind of fucking... that's why you're rj the pizza guy yeah it's, it's, it just kind of blow, blows my mind i'm just sitting there looking at it it's like oh my god what have i done you know who i thought about earlier today hmm. the guy that got it works at another pizza place but he got like shit faced at lucky's one night after his team won and like oh yeah 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 went on the uh, rampage when everybody left yeah no, breaking I, shit. I, I thought I about know. that dude today i'm like damn like, you know, it's crazy. He's, uh, I, I believe he's doing very well as of, um, as the, as I, as I would think. That's what's up. No, nah, I mean, he, some people just, he just, I mean, people get drunk, look, and do stupid things. I'm sure we've all done stupid things. When we're dude, drunk. he was hype, but he was hammered at the same time. No, I've, I've had my fair share of yelling at Steeler games. Dude, I used and, to have those fucking marathon luckies days on Sunday and shit. I stopped doing that shit. Like, uh, well, when you're in there, like from sun up to sundown, and then by the time you leave, you're just like, I am local, like you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know just like all over the place. Do you know what's crazy? You know, I obviously enjoy drinking beer, dude. If I day drink, dude, I get so sleepy, bro. After like two beers, it's so weird. When I went to the Redskins Cowboys game last season, I went with uh, one of my that's a lot employees. Of walking. That's a lot of walking and standing. And yeah, it was a nice day, but we were out drinking beers, and I only had probably, well, a few, I should say. Uh, but two I was, tall boys and a fucking yeah, yeah. No, I think I had like three tall boys in the span of like the game and a little before, which I don't really think is that bad. But then I went to Lucky's right after, and I was sunburnt. And they're like, here, we got beer for you. And I'm already kind of just buzzing. I'm like, damn, people do this all the time. You know, I'm always at work. That's why they look so, big, big and puffy and red. Yeah. So I was just the fucking I body was trying like, to yeah. process that shit. They were like, are you good? I was like, yeah, I had a blast. You know, man, I had a great couple blast. more beers. Yeah. Oh, Come Dangerous home and fun. I'm just like, yeah, it is. But I don't know. It just makes me I sleepy. Need, I need some, I need like a, a snap. I need a nap after day drinking. Like, uh, yeah, seriously. Like, day drinking is not going to lead to night drinking for me. It's going to lead to night sleeping. 
Oh yeah. Oh, well, no shit. You don't plan if you day drinking. You don't plan to be drinking all night. When the gyms open well, back up, man. Oh, and the only other time I really did it <laughs> ever. Uh, well, I wouldn't say ever, but is when we went to the Caps parade. You know, we were out there all day. Yeah, man. And then you yeah. came home. Yeah, I took a nap for like an hour. Yeah, because I was day drinking makes me sleepy. Yeah. But then I still went back out. I mean, dude, given the circumstances, it was the summertime, weather's nice, won a championship, all that good stuff. No, I kept that shit going. Oof. I don't yeah. remember what happened. Man, that was a that was a rough one. <laughs> oh, that no, was I'm a rough right. one. Oh. No, nah, because it was a, it was a rough one because I was at the fucking caps joint. Drinking all fucking day in the sun. Mm. That Dude, yeah, it was like hot as fuck. I had fun. the thick jersey on. I got the fuck. I had the fucking authentic. Where I'm on ice, yeah. so I need a thick jersey. Too Dude. too too much. <laughs> that uh, I remember we my were whole, standing. My yeah. father died the next day. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah, next day. Oh. Yeah, it was the next day, bro. I was like, fuck. Oh. Man, that was probably. Yeah. Let me drink some more. <laughs> I caught, well, then I caught the ill cheers. cold. You caught the COVID? No, cold. I just had like a real bad cold, like oh. the next day, like the day after. Yeah, from being just outside. My, my fucking immune system was just yep. tank. Yep. Yeah. Tank. Like, oh, your nose is running. And it's allergy season. And it's <laughs> hot outside. We're going to give you a summertime cold. <laughs> so, you so, gotta, so, and you you're prepare. stressed out? Oh. Yeah, so, you got to prepare for this funeral sick with doo doo dreads. Your dreads aren't even long. You have a shitty hang time. <laughs> Nobody yeah. can do them before. Uh, this maybe one day I will have some hang time, dude. I was Both on and off the court. I was in Lucky's fucking hammered on what the day after the night of the funeral. It was like that Saturday. Yeah. You, you was on a nice little clip for a minute. Yeah, man, I'm done. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm done. Yeah. Dun, so dun. what? Uh, what we were talking about, you know, the the cops and everything, and I was gonna bring up obviously the big thing that's going on in uh, what is it, Minnesota, right? Mm-hmm. Um, is uh, what happened to George Lloyd? That's his name, correct? Uh, mm-hmm. Please tell me it's not Floyd. I don't remember, bro. George okay. Floyd. It's Floyd. Okay, yeah. so please forgive me. Um, I am kind of <sighs> baffled in the sense that, like, these guys – so the cops were fired, right? But I believe today that some, uh, the mayor said, why aren't these people, like, being, you know – Arrested because that, that cop prosecuted or whatever, however you want to put it. Uh, dude, that guy killed that. You want it? Yeah, that guy killed that guy, man. Like, uh, the video is obviously insanely disturbing. You watched it? Uh, I did. Uh, I don't watch. I didn't. I, I I I Me watched. Either. I didn't watch. I I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched it to where I could kind of. I got it. got the yeah. gist of it. I, I saw the yeah. same thing. He was um, still breathing, and I just saw the the knee and and. After looking at it and knowing how like that area works, like I could see, I was like, "Yo, he's definitely putting quite a bit of pressure on." That. Yeah, but what was so? My whole thing is is from what we know is that he went into the grocery store. He was supposedly writing a fraudulent check, which apparently Why? he was not. Which yet yeah, again, there's also a video of him not resisting arrest, cooperating. Mm-hmm. So what is the need for him to be on his stomach with an officer's knee dug into the side of his head? Because they probably fucking got overly aggressive with him. Yes. For no for no reason, and he didn't come yeah, fucking time. I just, so he he didn't. They they they. He was probably asking questions like, "Yo, what what are y'all doing?" They tried, they tried to fucking detain him, and he was like, "Yo." I can tell you right now, I I did uh, don't take much in, some MP training when I was in the Marine Corps, and I remember them telling us. Whenever you're apprehending someone or, or putting them in the handcuffs, you just keep yelling, stop resisting, stop resisting. And the reason for that is if there's any witnesses, they will hear that and be like, oh, well, he must be resisting. So and so they're like kind of, uh, what is it, creating this illusion that somebody is in the wrong. Yes. Okay. And okay. When I, I was young when I heard that. And it, it stuck with me forever um, because whenever I, I hear uh, or I watch cops or I watch something and I hear stop resisting, I'm like, first of all, you can see clearly from a lot of videos, these cats aren't resisting, but you're still yelling, stop resisting, stop resisting. That is trained into them. And that's one problem. The training is police training. I don't give a fuck who you are. Like, it's some shit. The Bama's can't shoot. 
I, unless you're like a, a fucking sniper or some shit, and I know some 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 law enforcement officers, and I don't want, I don't want to talk shit on all of them. However, I know for a fact that Baltimore County, you only have to shoot seventy percent to fucking uh, pass the shooting exam with them. That's a fucking C, bro. That's a low C. Bro. If anybody else was doing that shit, if if, if I was taking a class and I got a C in college. My GPA is going down. It's a fucking stress thing, too. It's a, how do you handle fucking stress? Yeah, I think the mental aspect is, is something what that fucking, obviously needs, what, needs to be looked into more. What prejudices, prejudices do you possess? Like, these motherfuckers aren't the brightest. They're fucking nerds. No, 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 no. I don't think they're nerds. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a good deal on this <laughs> nerds. It's weak little fucking men. Yes, that's not the same thing as a nerd. A nerd you know, is an intelligent I mean. person. Okay, so I'm a nerd. I know what you're saying. So what I want to say is, a lot of them are people who have grown up. They were bullied in school. They were, they have insecure. Yes, hundred percent insecurity. They get a badge and they're like, "Yo, I got power now." Just like that motherfucker when I was Sunday, he was like, "Oh, I got power now." The manager's gone. No, you can't use the bathroom. Man, somebody just came in here 10 minutes ago using the bathroom. And I just I just paid for some food. You know what I'm saying? So you get a little bit of power. It, when you already don't have power in your life and you get a little bit of power, you, you might feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Little stupid ass ego trip. Yes, exactly what it is. That's what I think. Yeah, uh, as somebody who... <coughs> Excuse me. Got the code. Um, and then you just got, got some fucking dickheads. Yeah, them too. Dickheads too. I knew I went to fucking high school with a dickhead. Like, yeah. this kid's an asshole. I, I, Is this pertaining to what happened? Well, uh, I think he's a police officer now. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Went to the military, but he was just like a fucking insecure little bully. Mm. Well, well, I mean, I'm not gonna say his name, but yeah, no, I, no, I, yeah, I, I no, peep no, that no, shit. No. I'm like, yo, you're, you're whack. No, after after a while of dealing with it and seeing it, not, it's fake a, tough, yes, fake tough guy. Like, dude, like, I and I know a lot, but I see them and I'm like, man, you kind of soft, dog. <laughs> if you didn't have that badge and that fucking gun on you, like, yeah, now they got the ultimate fucking power in their hands. Yes, it's like, and those are not the type of people that you need to be having serving. The they, 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 they want to do it. Yes. Like, oh yeah. I, oh, I want to do yeah, something. Kind of... I do something. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Like they do shit like that. Yeah, they have like this deep seated hatred, obviously, uh, from whatever stems from their youth or they were be, they were bullied in school. They, I mean, I think they might not even bully the school. Their fucking parents probably have told them that they're fucking ugly. Oh yeah, his yeah. father probably fucking told him he was a pussy. Child hard. Don't be a childhood. pussy. Oh, you're a pussy. Childhood oh. trauma. Like, yeah, it kind of it, it's crazy, but I think the the mental yeah. evaluation when it does come to, I guess, uh, you know assigning somebody to be uh, uh, law enforcement uh, obviously needs to be taken. Not saying that this isn't being done in some capacity, but. But you, you, could, uh, you could be too smart to be a police officer. Yes. Too. They have psyche valves yeah. and they go through all that shit, but you can outsmart a psyche valve. Just like you can outsmart. A you got to play. You got to dumb it down. Team. You got to dumb yeah. it down to pass the shit. Yeah. You like fucking, I, was, I watched the, uh, the clips of DJ Vlad interview on Michael Jai White. Like he said, he, they told him he was too smart to be a police officer. Like they pulled him to the side and were like, we're, we're failing you because you, this, this type of work is going to be easy for you. And then you're going to be easily, you're, you might be easily corruptible. Mm. Like you're going to, like you're going to need us. Like that's what they told them. Yeah. Like, so they want people that are just thick corrupt, corrupt as in he might circumvent the system to fucking benefit himself. Not, Okay. Not, you know what I'm saying, like, hurt Doing, people. Yeah, yeah. He might, you know, I don't know. And I guess you got to be. But I see what he means. Less in. Peep, peep the, the, the I don't sleeping beauty back this. here. Yeah, I, I saw her jump up there. I, I don't want to say you got to be less intelligent to it's not that. Can do that job. I'm trying to think of the right words. 
you're not th- those people aren't as mentally strong as like a navy seal or 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 army ranger type thing you, you know what i'm saying yeah those are mentally tough people and yeah. again i'm not saying everybody's like that i'm well, just well tough people come from some 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 of the toughest people come from insecure places look at your man Walt uh goggins well yeah that he, was that was a very insecure man and he went the other way. He went super tough. Super tough. Well, yeah, super. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's super. I'm going to prove it. You can't hurt me. But that, that proves oh, right there. You can't is, predict. That proves right there. You can't predict. That's just an extreme that he went where, to. Yes, him. But I'm saying that, 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 that's what I'm trying to say is you can't predict where. Uh, like if you do a psyche eval for a, a police academy joint. You can't predict where a, a person's mind is going to go because your your mind is constantly changing. You know what I'm saying? You're creating new paths. Well, you still get a baseline. Day. You get a baseline personality. Mm-hmm. And then they get involved with other groups of, of police officers who may have influenced them in some certain way. Right. Then or that's they're scared why. to step up and even say anything because they'll get But those out. Those tests will tell you all that. Like, those tests will tell you. He won't speak up if he sees something crazy. Well, it's not he'll telling stay in, him now. He'll stay in line. We just huh? have four. We're just not telling them now that now they just have four cap, cats get fired for killing somebody, oh, man. and one standing around not doing shit. It's not a fire. yeah. I uh, it's yeah. Again, after again watching like brief, you know, uh, you know of the foot brief seconds of the footage or however I should say that. Um, again, there's no reason like just thinking about it logically. Like, there's no reason for this. This guy wasn't fighting. This guy wasn't threatening people. I mean, to from everything that we've seen. So, there's no reason. And even after the guy said he couldn't breathe, there's got to be a – I'm sorry, man. That, that, that guy murdered that dude. And, the fact uh, that he, he didn't even let up a little. Like, I've seen that move done before. But you, you'll see him, like, let up. I, that dude didn't move. Yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It, that guy needs to be charged with murder. Um, I agree. Uh, yeah, so it's just a shame uh, that we are still having this conversation because I know we've year talked about it. Year after year after uh, year after year. I know that this has obviously become very – Red Dead is slow. Oh, here. Here we go. We got that. Sorry. Moving, moving that out of the way. Um, this narrative of – police brutality towards you know african americans and, and it's just people. like and black people yeah i just it just i, know, I, I don't know man this shit is just know, wild to me sometimes man there's black folks to get get the yeah uh, i just i don't think um brown people are getting recorded like black folks are though i mean that's just my well, opinion um i could be wrong but police don't run into spanish communities like that they don't run down on spanish people like that do we know that for sure yeah they don't run down on spanish people like that. and when was the last time you seen a spanish dude get like jammed up like, and, you have yeah. you literally have to go into their community to do that mm. you know what i'm saying you can catch a you can catch a black person out on the fucking on the humble that's because we're writing a check at a, at a fucking grocery store that's owned by that's, somebody else. That's because of uh, no, that, that's a good point, Greg. That's, that's because of integration. Point. I mean, what it call it? Call it whatever you want, but black people are more more likely to be caught well, out. I well, mean, cause Spanish folks too. Like, I'm not saying it, it doesn't happen. I'm not saying it won't. I, I'm not either. But I'm, I, what I'm saying but, is because but, we were so pushing, so so avid on pushing integration. We're now not so, we're not in a, one solid community, as in. Well, that's that's just <clears throat> that's, that comes from the dissolution of the fucking black households, like. Yeah. So then you get a terrorism. random guy. You get a the random terror- guy. I'll, I'll write terror- a check. Terrorism, fucking business loans. Too much. It's too all much. that shit is all that shit is plays a part in that. In that. No, I get it. A hundred man. I, I talk about this all the time. Not to backtrack, uh, maybe just a tad bit. Um, but then, with obviously the with with the, the situation, is that there are people that are defending the police officers. 
and what they did. They always want to do that. Yeah, there's always... I mean, I know that's always going to be a thing, but uh, unfortunately, uh, but it's, it just kind it's of. It's not even unfortunate. It's, it is what it is. Uh, people don't. It they is, see... No, it is unfortunate. It's just, it's stupid, man. Like, you, you can clearly see that this guy is not doing anything to, to require that amount of force um, at all. And for people not to see that and try to look around that and say, oh, everybody's just tripping. These are officers of the law. They're, you know, they, they're the authority figure, this and that. Like, that, nobody's not okay. saying that. They're saying that this is the authority figure, and they're abusing it. Uh, Dude, I need the fucking much. DMV to open. I need shit to open back up. Like, this is starting to get fucking got, goddamn ridiculous, man. Do you know what I would like to open? You can't like, do shit, that is real, shit is real fucking dy- dystopian. No, I want to be able to go to the DMV and fucking get my tags and, and do business. Do it online. No, nah, man. I, I did it online. I've been waiting three weeks for my fucking license plate. It amazes oh, that me. That means DMV is not an essential right. business. Huh? My mom just did her. I, I, no, the DMV not being an essential business, I just think that's kind of a little – I think it is, in my opinion. Yeah, but it's so many people they gather in there. It's just yeah. ridiculous. No, I, I understand that. that aspect of it like oh this is probably because dmv is always filled with people all right so i understand wanting to do that but still it's i don't know man it's the department of motor vehicles bro like open like i have no reason I mean, to be there i just mean but, stuff stuff in general but it's got to stay low man that's why i'm staying low and building man like i'm not even like this shit's gonna be a fucking yo-yo this shit's gonna go through the fucking election like if it is one. <laughs> okay. On a lighthearted note, I, you know, I know we don't really discuss politics on, on here. Uh, you know, cause I know we don't, or I know I don't really care too much for them. Uh, what did you guys uh, think about Joe Biden's comments about like, if you don't vote for him or. I didn't, even, uh, <laughs> I didn't even read that shit. I, I didn't hear, I didn't, I didn't hear him say it. But I just like heard the, what oh, you he can't said, say, but you can't I don't know, me. man. I kind of laughed. I, I just wish like there was a third it. party. That's all. Yeah, you can't really tell me that this is the fucking <laughs> best <laughs> that's option. <laughs> no, these, that's what. I, but that's what I'm saying is he sounds out of. These are the best. Touch. He's the the lesser of two evils. Isn't that what it always is, though, man? I, that's I the problem. Vote for him. That's the even fucking though they don't like him. Problem. It's fucking weird. And that's the that's the fucking machine that we're in. Yep. We, yeah, you know, until there's a third party that comes in. No like, third party. Ain't gonna be no third party. We're fucked. I thought stuck I, with I just I two really shitty ass these. fucking sides. We got Bloods and the white Bloods and Crips. <coughs> nah, don't disrespect the Bloods and Crips, man. I mean, it's their version of it. They they just got the economic shit. Yeah, goofy. I just thought I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny, like in the sense of like, like, wow, that's a really stupid fucking thing to say. <laughs> He thought it was being funny. Like we even talked about, on, we had a we have a Sunday call every with family every. Uh, yeah, so does mine. That's crazy. And um, we we talked about my that. family doesn't even acknowledge me. So good for both of you. My, <laughs> well, I don't get on it. I don't get on it. <coughs> no, I get I get on it. Uh, just nah, because fuck that. it's uh, um, it's, it's kind of <laughs> fun, huh? It's kind of fun. It because it's like. It's the, my age, my generation, and uh, an older generation. We kind of get to see both sides, and you can see, like, like my generation, like the younger cats. We were like, man, I don't, I'm not trying to hear what no old white man trying to tell me about voting. Like, motherfucker, fuck you! I'll vote yeah, for who the fuck that, I want to vote for. Yeah. Like, don't tell me what what my culture is because I don't vote for you. What culture? <laughs> like, what are you <laughs> talking about, dude? Dude, the memes are fucking hilarious. I love them. Yeah, fuck uh, I, I know this is like kind of a well, I wouldn't say an overly serious topic but you gotta love the internet for taking something and running with it like immediately <coughs> yeah um, I had to, um, I have to the last few days I've had to kind of uh, do a pull out on, on social media uh, well I hear you <laughs> on that because I was reading a ton of shit this morning and I guess everybody's just kind of fed up with everything mm. so people are arguing and there's so many different viewpoints and nope. I'm done. There's a lot of uh, dumb shit on the internet. Now, some people are making very valid points. Um, the reason I don't post stuff like that, uh, one, because I really don't care to, and two, yeah, me either. is because like you're going to you, you're, you're gonna be entertaining people. And it's not in my, like, if I was sitting there talking to you in person, 
that's one thing. But for me to just put that out there and whatever it is, uh, to just argue with everybody, it's, you know, it doesn't elicit a response. And, and then you got to uh, hear their opinion. Like, I don't fucking care about your yeah, fucking really opinion. I don't care about nobody's opinion. Yeah, it's like, about dude. Anything. Hey, look, I posted fucking shit about um, the, the SpaceX joint today. The launch didn't happen. But, hey, I was all into that shit. I watched that shit from fucking 12 o'clock Ugh. to 4 or something. They they won't they're launching again. Oh, speaking of that, um, SpaceX. Yeah, I haven't talked about this on the show yet. SpaceX and NASA um, have partnered up, and the it was supposed to act happily happen to actually happen today at four thirty p.m. Um, this is the first time in nine years that there has been a launch from uh, U.S. soil to the international space system carrying actual crew members human crew members and it was supposed to happen today but weather issues happened so they're pushing it back to um saturday at 3 22 eastern standard time from cape canaveral um florida um i'm super excited about this because this is history in the making and i just wanted to put that out there for everyone if you're bored about it i don't care it is fucking awesome space travel is awesome greg disappeared oh wait he's right there i i looked away for a second i was like oh greg got up he's messing with the dog he's just yeah okay i was back there breathing that hot breath Mm -hmm. this funky ass breath i can hear her breathing in the mic yes that's me that funky (laughs) ass breath (laughs) so um oh so what i was gonna text to the chat uh i know sports haven't been on but uh I know you like those national rings, right, man? Those oh, yeah. championship rings. I like the rings. I, I missed the, um, the the the. Well, league. I didn't see the I didn't see the ceremony, but I just think the rings are really badass. Yeah, it was pretty dope. Wait, they just mailed them to him. Uh, probably. Oh, you know what's funny? We know somebody who who's probably gonna get one. Really? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, ooh. I don't want to name the name. Uh, this person works there, though. We get tickets from her a lot. Oh, get the awesome. fuck out of here. I, For real? She, when I when I talked to her last, she said yes. Okay. So what? It's everybody cap. that works. But in it's it's usually everybody who works in the stadium. Yeah. C A P S cap caps caps. <laughs> C A P cap 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 big cap. Big uh, cap. No, dude. This cap. Like, no, this is true. That's cap. They ain't getting nobody everybody, shit. No people in the um. You get in the something. Verizon Center, workers in the Verizon Center got rings when for the caps winning. Was it real? A real gold ring? I, I don't know all With, the or details. Icy. Was it real ice? I don't know all the details. I don't know if they get the fucking legit curly W. No motherfucking, you know, motherfucking Dude, those rings are fucking nice, though. I'm sorry. All I can like, say is, as I was told that she was supposed to send her email and or her email her swindle her, 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 her ring size in. going to swindle her for that. Mm. Well, that's awesome if, if she does get one. So yeah, kudos to cool. you. That's that's a pretty cool thing. The uh, Clay got me these. Uh, shout out to Clay. Uh, he got me the replica um, Steeler championship from the Super Bowl rings. Oh, the doo doo. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the doo doo rings. Yeah, <laughs> I doo doo six times, motherfucker. How about that? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You need so, to wipe your ass. Yeah. Well, we've got the day for that, sir. So speaking of oh, bidets, speaking of the days, hello tissue dot com. I'll put the link in in the description below. Nobody's clicked on it the last two weeks, but hey, fuck it. We're still doing it. HelloTushy.com. 5% off on your next purchase at HelloTushy.com. Courtesy of Matt. Do you Rock. still have it? Yes. Go ahead. You're, um, you still haven't told us. Are we sponsored by these people? I, I cannot tell you over this. Oh, okay. Well, just That's tell why I said I would tell you later. You. But I said, yes, <laughs> I, I can't tell you details oh. over this. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Blow yes. the water in your ass. It's clean. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking around smelling like shit. So, um, clean your fucking so ass. I... Get out of this. Get out of this bed and go clean your fucking ass. <laughs> Smell like shit. Dude, dude, could you imagine like having like shit. white? Like all white bed sheets, right? Smell like piss shit and wet <laughs> pussy. Get out of my bedroom. <laughs> just white bed sheets, and then you're, you just kind of like. 
That's because they don't have a hello to you. I'm, I'm, I'm Get sorry. Get out of my bed. You smell like shit flakes. I'm sorry. Like, like, and there's the shit like flakes smear, in my bed. Like a smear in Nasty the bed sheets bitch. or something. I don't know what's making me think of this. Uh, it's actually it's weird. <laughs> I guess that's what the what the answer is. Yes, hunting smells like Budusi in here. <laughs> Booty, dick, and pussy. <laughs> uh, oh my god! I walked in. Oh my god! I walked in my roommate. <laughs> oh man! Dude, that's After my roommate funny. got through smashing this zone, man, I was like, "Yo, it smells like sh- <laughs> shit in here, bro." Was he hitting it in that? It was anal. Nah, she just was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm oh, shit, I don't know. Thinking back, maybe. <laughs> Ugh, but it smelled bad in there. I'm like, what? <laughs> Smell like just we were like skins. in a fucking old we were in an old fucking Ramada hotel while the fucking <laughs> while, the, while the uh apartments got built, the student apartments. Dude, they're like the <laughs> You gotta leave. I don't know where Jared's going. Sorry, so you're in like this dusty ass shady motel. Yeah, I mean it was a, <laughs> the school fucking basically rented the whole thing out. For the fucking oh, for the semester until the fucking apartments open back up. Oh, this opened is when up. you were in college. Okay. Yeah. So you know. I mean, that's. I mean, I. I mean, I guess that's a natural thing. Obviously, when that when it's, those things. That nigga ain't give a fuck, man. That's my nigga, man. Shout out to Jelly, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my, my uh, roommate. A couple, I know a couple of my. my that was one of my, my better buddies. roommates in college. I only had like a couple of my real life friends that are just complete savages yeah. in every sense of the word. I'm just thinking, like, bro. <laughs> I what can't... is this? More to that story, <laughs> and there's a regret there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have a regret, but uh, it's on the good side of regret. No, nah, I remember uh, when I was in high school. Man, I, I'm not even gonna tell the story because it's just gonna be all bad. Man, sure you um, had to have something, man. <laughs> well, she I mean, offered that. She offered that <laughs> shit way too easy. Dude, some people are just. I don't know, down, unfortunately. You, you, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, I mean, if, oh, I mean, then, I don't know, maybe they yeah, so she was, enjoy she the, 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 the yeah, affection. Was, and, yeah, no, I was like, yeah. ah, no thanks. No thanks. Yeah, I would, I would have to. No it's thanks. A big, it's a big no for me, dog. You were the stinky one. I remember you. Dude, oh, man. I didn't see you, crazy. but I, <laughs> I didn't see you at the time, but I would heard about you. I'm no, good. my God, dude. Well, I mean, sometimes, you know, those things happen. College was and, and college was I hilarious. Just, shout, I just out remember, to, shout out to Virginia State University. Oh, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off, RJ. Oh, it's good, dude. Oh, <clears throat> dude. BSU. Ah, Jared Smith has returned. The old ass hat. That hat's old as shit, man. Get you some new fucking hats. You talking about? Talking to you. Talking about you with that famous footwear hat on. Footwear? Uh, <laughs> famous <laughs> stars and straps, sir. That's that's not famous. This is famous stars and straps, yes. Stars and straps, what? This is Travis Barker's clothing clothing yeah, line. Yeah, man, he he still makes that shit. Is this that is new? An old ass hat. Oh, that's what I'm saying, man. I just never ordered. Order. Man, this shit clean. I just, gave away, I, just gave, <laughs> I just gave away a whole bag of hats, man. Well, I don't know why you gave away a whole bag of hats. Because some of them shits <laughs> was like ten years old. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. With, if the hat is clean, it don't matter. Oh, who'd don't you give them to? Charity? Shit. Yeah, I don't need that shit. I have a question. <clears throat> yeah, I don't sure. need all this shit. I don't need all these shoes. I don't need all these clothes. If you were buying a car, would you buy from an obvious when you when these motherfuckers are obviously desperate and it's like the sales manager, the finance manager, and the fucking sales guy all like crowding around you in the parking lot. No, we can do this. No, we can do this. No, we can do this. Would you buy from somebody like that? Not not right then or a second. No, exactly. I I just want to make yeah, <laughs> uh, that's another, how I got stuck with what I have now. Mm. That's well, why nah, not seen, that's why you haven't seen me in my car at all this year. Mm. No, nah, nah, that's uh, another thing too, somebody, man. Like if you shove the fucking pencil in my face, yeah, no, nah. yeah, like here, think, sign this. I'm like, uh, I'm not ready for this. That's what happened today, and uh, because nah, I went the other car, and uh, I was like, Nah, dude, I can't. And I was getting, I, oh. I got so aggravated. I was like, first of all, you could have went to this joint at first if you had even offered the correct car. They thought they had a sucker. That's what that was. Thought it was sweet. Yeah, 
They, they, they well, first the guy, forty-one year old man. God no, no, it wasn't me. It was a, they, they. My mom, his neck. My mom went to the dealership. Fucking sucker. And um, she went to the dealership, <laughs> and then she, for whatever, just to look, and then for whatever reason, they let her, like, take the car home. Take the car home, of course. But kept her car. She didn't sign anything. When she pulled up, though, I was like, "Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you sign anything?" She was like, "No, I, was like, I, I, I got to bring it back to try and give me the best value for my my trade in." I was like, "Oh God, they're not trying to do that. They're trying no. to make you fucking drive the car so you'd be like, oh, I really like this. I'm yeah, gonna buy ownership.' It. Exactly, trying to create a sense of ownership. I know sales tactics. Every last tactic they use that day or today. Here, walk around in them. Just walk around in them. Just walk awesome. around in the shoes. I got that. Just shit. walk like, around in the hey, shoes. Hey, try this cell phone. This is the new cell phone right here. Like, yeah, this is the this best up. one." I bought this other color out. I think you might like it. Yeah. Uh, so with with that being said, like, hold on. How do I want to say this? So, like, do you think that we get agitated because it's being done to us and we're more understanding of it when we're doing it to people? What? No. I think I get agitated. <laughs> Greg, I'm sorry. I get agitated because I, like, huh? <laughs> because I know the game and I see a sale. I, I don't I don't like being sold to. Just fucking tell me what you're going to do for me. Don't waste my time, period. That's all I'm saying. Like, if you waste my time, then I'm going to be even more mad. Like, at, at the end, I was fucking pissed. I was like, why don't you tell us that at the beginning when Dude, was... we came? I, I get it. It's, it's a whole sales haggling thing. Fuck that. I have time. And I even told him, like, yo, because we still had to do the show. That's why I was like, 9 o'clock, I should be done. I thought the whole shit was worked out. It wasn't. And it was like seven fifteen at this time. I'm like, nah, we like I gotta go. Like, I, I gotta be. I was, at the, I was at the dealership doing something with my car when I first bought it, and this really, 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 really old white guy came in. Like, so old, I guarantee <laughs> you, I'll bet everything I own that he's not alive right now. Oh jeez, <laughs> like he was really old. Mm-hmm. You know with the the, the band aids on and shit. Mm. Oh. I don't know what I don't know what how what happens to white people when they get that old where they just need random band aids. Oh, maybe I'll tell you someday, Greg. Save <laughs> yeah, me. hopefully you Save can. Me. Save me. No go man, ahead. like when their arms and oh. foreheads like they fall. Oh, they down fall all shit. the time. Who and their skin is so fucking. Ugh. Anyway, yeah, please. He he, <laughs> he walked in all slow and crotchety. Salesman walked up to him. He's like, "How much do you want for that car right there?" Like old school type shit. Mm-hmm. But he was just really old. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Well, I have thirty thousand dollars cash, and I want to buy this car." He's like, "Sir, this car is forty five thousand dollars, <laughs> <laughs> or something like that." Like mm-hmm. he was he was lowballing them, like heavy mm-hmm. cash, like cash right now. I want to buy this car. Cause you know what they the dealership keeps that cash and the dealer was like anything uh, you put down they keep that cash yeah just write the fucking car off yep like, oh thank you <laughs> anyway <clears throat> what were you saying oh so, so did he get it at that price I no he, he just walked out <laughs> Like, but man, he came, I was waiting for this this crazy story to happen nah, but, with this whole man. He came and in, Greg's just, like, yeah, that motherfucker left. He just came in to try to flex real quick. Flex his old school muscles. Like, I still got it. Hey, he had it. I want to buy that car. Got, he could have got the, uh, no, that's, that's I want to buy that car right now. That's a lot of money. Nah, man. It was a truck. It was like a big GMC truck. So it was more nah, than nah. You, now, now that you say that, I have like an older customer that used to come in who I haven't seen in a while. Um, I and the reason that. I, uh, so basically like he used to complain a lot, right? Oh my God. He would like, if the slices, if I they weren't like, per- no, no. Like I'm saying like, uh, like one, like one or two times he, I, he was a little justified. Okay. Like, look at this thin slices, slice. I have a thin slice and an extra large now, if slice. They weren't, like, if, they, if, they weren't, if they weren't perfect, like <clears throat> perfect slices. He'd be like, yo, my grandkids, they fight over this, and I don't know what to do. And I'd be like, damn, bro. Oh, that and then he would, Yeah, well, okay. So, no, but but he has a point. Your grandparent. Right, dude, you, yeah. Anyway. Think back when they were. But we still should be cutting pieces that shit where parents? slices are obviously of equal portion. You know, there'll be like one small slice and then like the one big ass like slice. 
I'm going to. But I remember this guy. He used to come in all the time. And, man, when he, and I know what he ordered. He would order online. And when it came on the screen, I knew it was him. I knew it was him. So when the pizzas would come out of the oven, I would cut them myself. And I would be so nervous about cutting them the wrong way. And I've been doing this for years, bro. I'm a pro at Yeah. Oh, my God, bro. I'd be sitting there cutting that shit so perfectly. And I'd be opening the box for him. He wasn't a bad guy because he showed me a picture of one of his orders. And he had, like, the Mondo slice and then, like, the small slice. But sometimes he would just kind of, I think, bitch just a bitch. Uh. Um, And I haven't seen him in a while. So, that's not because before, you know, even all this, you know, coronavirus shit started happening. You're going to need coronavirus. a foot. You're going to need Dude, a foot to come in your nose, baby girl, because you're sucking my car. Oh. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> Look at camera on, was flagrant as fuck on that one. Oh, it? did you see the, the dip set video that was posted where, where the dude was just like, uh, I think Brent posted it. No, I didn't see that. Dude, that shit's hilarious. Where the guy you're gonna was like dipset, they'd be in the videos, and he he had like the, I guess the the, the towel on with the with the fitted on and everything. Uh huh. And then the dude had like the the pink Cameron jacket on. And shit, oh, and I saw just, that. Yeah, I saw that. That shit's pretty funny because it's so so true. Yeah, it was exactly. you're gonna need uh, it like, for the cum in your nose, baby girl, because you're sucking my cock. Wow. No, oh my God. So yes, skeet. skeet anyway, skeet. I get hid in the strangest places. Two at the same time, call them changing faces. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that beat Wheezy. is like still super. That beat is still super tough. Um, and in the back of the mind, and in the back of my mind, I hope she swallows. Damn, bro! Dude, the music we grew up with. <laughs> some of that shit. Like, <laughs> this camera right here. Man, had the, the, that was, that yeah, was with the metaphors. That was Lil Wayne. Wayne. That was Lil Wayne. No, that, that was Wayne. Yeah, it was definitely Wayne. Uh, yes, okay. baby. Now Don't stand, say the baby. Now stand back and catch my amazing greatness. Uh, we, should do, we should do a, a poetry <laughs> joint where we just read. Wait, I got some dude, right we now. should Crazy cut wrestling rap promos. Rap. No, I got some should. right now. Hey, you know, oh, Tom Segura is going hard on wrestling fans right now. Uh, For what uh, reason? Just to be Tom Segura. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> you know, uh, great speaking lyrics. of wrestling, oh, what? Go ahead, Greg. No, I was about to say, nah, I got, I got a lyric for you. Let me, I'll find it. Keep, keep find going. your. Uh, speaking of wrestling, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, Dark Side of the Ring show uh-huh. that's on Vice. Uh, they did the show on Owen Hart. Owen uh, Hart. Yeah, and for those that uh, don't know, uh, I, I don't May twenty. Uh, well. Some people don't. That's why I'm telling them, Jared. No. no. Thanks, man. <laughs> um, on May 23rd, 1999, uh, Owen Hart was entering the arena or making his entrance as the Blue Blazer, which was the kind of Blue like his, Blazer. his like alternate gimmick. Um, and he fell 80 feet from the rafters <laughs> of the arena uh, and died in the ring. And they continued with the pay-per-view after he died in the ring where his blood was smeared on the mat and some of the canvas was caved in. And it's probably one of the, probably the most shocking thing to happen in wrestling uh, because it happened live. And there's been a lot of speculation uh, from fans why Owen Hart is not in the Hall of Fame. Uh, The Wrestling Hall of Fame is obviously, you know, just a thing for wrestling fans, obviously. Um, But his wife, uh, after watching the documentary. Now, I've never heard her speak, and I was too young to see her speak on the news. Um, I guess when it occurred, when they were showing those, you know, that as a headline on the news, whatever. But um, she was basically saying that Vince McMahon uh, was trying to sue her as well, like counter sue her, because they were trying to sue for negligence. Because they showed the, the the little harness piece that was supposed to hold him up, dude. It's, it's like a hook. That, yeah, dude, it was like a hook this big. And he's like a 200-plus pound grown man. It was an so, aluminum carabiner. So I'm sure we've all seen Sting back in the day come down from the rafters. And he's got his bat. He's got his jacket and everything. So he had like the real, 
you know, harness, like the real, I guess, buckle straps or, or <coughs> like the sturdy shit. Yes. Carabiner. Owen Hart. Oh, yeah. Owen Hart had, like, yeah, some, like, you know, what is it? Soda can type shit. Some shit you find at the store. Yeah. And I don't know, man. It just, like, looking at it as an adult, like, for them to continue the show after one of their own die, died in the ring in front of all those people. k And it, I don't know. It just put a different perspective on it for me. But she just refuses to have his name be glorified by the company that she feels killed him. Um, uh, that's uh, Vince McMahon. It's a good watch. Like, even if you're – well, I mean, I would say even if you're not a wrestling fan. Uh, but the, that series is really good, man. Uh, the Dark Side of the Ring, uh, for fans, it's pretty cool. I want you to I, watch um, Tom Segura, your mom's house, uh, for the last few episodes and then come back and talk to me. All right, I got – What about what about wrestling? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, have a, well, I have a poetic reading. Sure, go ahead, oh, man. Please. <clears throat> it's uh, from the poet Chris Brown, Christopher oh. Brown. Oh, Lord. Uh, from, you should have uh, did that at the end. His guest appearance. Well, this could be the end. Oh. Who knows? Stay tuned. <laughs> no, I mean, at the Never end know. of the poem. Well, I could have, but I. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <clears throat> This is the second verse. Uh, this is Mr. Brown's part. Ain't no type of holdup. I already stole her. Now she bent over, and this bitch is sober. She knows what she's doing. So I dive in the deep end. Know who I am? The chief. And guess what she's doing? Cheating. Fucking her in my Tim's. Ask me how it feel to be a to be with a real nigga. She said my dick bigger. Not sorry. Got a condom. We ain't worried about Mari. <laughs> got a condom. She really put a party. Booty fire. But we really got a problem. Now I'm about to fuck her. Now I'm about to fuck up the way she walk. I fucked it up at the end, but that's crazy. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Uh, Fucking up uh, in my Timbs. Uh, How he uh, sing that shit, man. Hey, that's that's Virginia right there. <laughs> Fucking up in my Timbs. Timbs had a good feel. Be with a real nigga. Two up, two Sorry. down. Got to call to what she really wanted to party. Two up, two uh, down. Uh, I didn't know that was the lyric, though. <laughs> and that's the end of the show, ladies. Got a con and we ain't worried about more. Uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a lyric. <laughs> she said my big she said my dick bigger, not sorry. Got a condom. We ain't worried about more. Oh. What the fuck is happening on Jet. Well I'm well, I'm using this cheap ass PlayStation mic. All right. Uh, Don't look at me. Cheap ass PlayStation mic. I told you I was gonna bring a splitter, but then now it's all right, making man. love in the restroom. Yeah, yeah. Got your bitch. I thought you know that. This is what I do. All right, come on. I'm fucking the words up. I got to listen to this song. I can't play the song, can I? <clears throat> no. Play it once we That's end That's pretty whack. Fucking a red, my Tims. the water front again. <laughs> I'll be saying that fucking it work with Ant. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> be, um, remember Ant from the show last week? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, he didn't <laughs> share nothing. Be, be at work who Ant. Man, we was yeah. cooling. We was cracking jokes. That's all it was about. Nobody sure shit. Fucking the rim, my dibs. Jerry will fuck you up. Fuck Ask you how you it feels. Ask right. how it feels. I'm Be tired. with a real dick. All right. You say I'm my dick bill, girl. Wrapping it up I'm here. I'm worried about it. No, all right. All right. So, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, please thank you for listening to the episode. Up the <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, me... uh, uh, well, he muted me. No. Uh, no, <laughs> like that me. motherfucker. All right, uh, but thank you for listening to episode forty-seven. Guess what you're doing? <laughs> the mad, the mad sound to slide podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist, and our good friend Greg, just Greg. So Look at we her will see my Tims. Make sure you're what well, you said. Fucking her in your Tims. Fucking her in my Tims. All right, in the so bathroom. if you're out there and you're not doing anything, make sure you fuck her in your Tim's. We're in the All right. we're, now we're making love in the restroom bathroom. In the restroom.
Now we make him live in the restaurant. I cannot wait to cut my hair. I look like a fucking doofus. Oh, man, that's why I'm fucking. I'm tired of wearing these hats. I'm just... <laughs> Jared's gonna take his shit off. He's gonna be like, I just want to take a nap. I just want to fucking get the show. Get the show. Get the show. For the love of God. Uh, hold up. So see y'all there... later. So see you guys next week. Bye. 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 I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing. Ever, 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 ever. Audio skulls all day, all day. The merit scientist forever. The merit scientist forever. The merit scientist forever. The merit scientist forever. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The, the, the merit scientist forever. The, the, the merit scientist forever. The, the, the merit scientist forever.